A member of my Discord server asked me to cover the cookies that appear in the Fallout series. Well, they only appear in two games and they're one of the rarest items in the entire Fallout universe due to the scarcity, value, and how missable they are overall. In the Fallout world, these cookies have really stayed the test of time. The pre-war baked treats are still edible and they will boost the player's action points by one for 15 minutes. In Fallout 2, three chocolate chip cookies can be found. The easiest to get is from Pharrell and Modoc. Suppose the Chosen One's intelligence is lower than four. In that case, Pharrell will reward them with a cookie after they clear his garden of rodents. Another cookie can be found here, but it will cost $1,000. Rose gives the cookies out with a glass of water, which is why the price is so high. The hardest one to obtain lies at the Sierra Army Depot. You have to complete quests in New Reno for the location to even show up on your map, and after that, you still have to find a way into the damn place. Once inside, down on level 2 of the facility, we can find a cookie in the break room, along with some other snacks and drinks. There was going to be a fourth location to find a cookie in Fallout 2, at the EPA map, down in the lower levels of the structure. This location and its content were cut from the final game, but they have been restored in Killapp's Restoration Project. Fallout Tactics is the only other game in the series to host this item. After reaching Bunker Gamma, the warrior and their squad will go through St. Louis and eventually get a mission for the town of Jefferson. In Jefferson, we meet Thelma, a super mutant commander. After a confrontation, we can loot a chocolate chip cookie from her corpse. It's hard to pinpoint how cookies have avoided radiation and have remained edible after all these years, but they are for sure a fun thing to hunt and a great addition to your inventory. Get fucked.